Wow, 2021. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you are. Welcome to yet another episode of Just Us with Kutu and Emily. This is our show where we Please. get Emily. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, uh, welcome to 2021, where we are now relaxed and able to breathe. Yeah, and remember in our show, we try to have um, frank conversations in a way that unites the world. Yeah, so we hope this whole relaxation and breathing easy and freshness and newness. And, you know, Emily, right now, you know, it's morning in South Africa and it's raining. We've had rain the last couple of days, so it really feels like new beginnings over here in a major sort of way. So I'm all in the mood for newness. I'll drink to that. Not Fresh coffee. Well. well, you know what? We've had a really interesting um, summer because we've had more rain than most people I know can recall. So everything looks absolutely gorgeous right now. It looks so lush. It's beautiful. It honestly is beautiful. I yeah, it finally feels like it's been. We had we've had some hot weather lately. It's um been so warm that now the hills are brown. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we've had the reverse. Oh, it's been a dry summer for you guys, huh? No, well, it it just hasn't taken long to dry off. Let's put it that way. It hasn't been dry. It's been because ah, it's New Zealand, right? <laughs> it's always bloody raining. Oh, excuse that French. <laughs> you know, what? I've always said New Zealand is a great place to raise kids, but the weather oh my gosh! Yeah, <laughs> well, I tell you what, the summers are amazing. You can't beat yeah. summer in New Zealand. In fact, a friend of me, a friend of mine said, summer in New Zealand, winter in Finland. Because the Finnish know how to do winter, and the Kiwis know how to do summer. Everything in between, well, you got to go somewhere else. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) All right, Emily, we're on, we're live, right? I hope you know that. So, New Beginnings 2021. This is our first show in a few, in quite a few weeks now. Um, it's almost the end of January, and we inadvertently ended up having to just take a break. Yeah, 2020 was a long year. And I th- sorry, go ahead. Uh, no, we lost our momentum. We lost our stride a bit. But admittedly, that kind of happens in the Southern Hemisphere. Things just stop over Christmas. Yeah. Suddenly. Yeah. yeah. Suddenly, you don't need to do anything anymore, but just uh-huh. exist and be, and um, and that's kind of hard for some of us when we're used to being on the go the whole time. Yeah, I was, I was about to say, you know, with ours, with us being Type A personalities, it's like, why do you need a break? <laughs> it's like, why does the world have to have to stop for two weeks? You know. Christmas boy. But, uh, South yes, Africa is the boy. same way. So I think we were talking I'm, about I'm how, sorry, Emily. You know, mm-hmm. Yeah. I think we were talking about how, you know, we had kind of a uh, a rough end to our year and we were trying to figure out how to pick up that energy and that momentum again. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And so, yeah, we wanted to bring into the new year that concept of positivity and trying to always look at what your next potential opportunity or goal is, um, even if you feel like you didn't achieve the last goal or that you are still working on that goal, how to keep yourself going. And I think we talked, one thing we were talking about these whole concept of new year's resolutions and how full of shit they are. (laughs) Full of shit. (laughs) (laughs) But at the same time, people need that to keep them 
motivated, right, for the upcoming uh-huh. year because you're at the start of the year and you're like, oh, shit, what do we got going on this year? Uh-huh. Um, uh-huh. So um, we were trying to think of strategies of how you keep keep that momentum, uh-huh. how you maintain a New Year's resolution, how you move into a new year after a really bad year, how you get uh-huh. over a hurdle of, okay, maybe we had a bad day at work, but how do you just pick up and just keep on keeping on? And plug through. Yeah. Yeah. And we truly can, you know, empathize um, firsthand because we, we really felt it. Remember the last episode, which we had entitled, I'm exhausted, y'all. <laughs> That's yeah, what we call it, right? It. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I mean, you can't even see it. Now, when you look at our show, you you know, the last show we did, which was in middle of December, we, we were just knackered out. We were just, yeah, we were really exhausted. And um, so, Emily, what, what can we share? What kind of, um, how are we picking ourselves up? Um, which somebody else might find helpful from wherever they are, if they're struggling to also pick themselves up, given that universally 2020 was quite challenging. Uh, Anything come to mind? I've got a couple of things I can think about, but you go first. Well, I have to admit, even when we discussed this topic before, I don't think it quite dawned on me how, despite how much criticism I give to this kiwi nature of taking two weeks off i think the break did us some good taking Uh a moment to pause to actually just regain our our energy and to um to feel a little bit more fresh this year so i think that's definitely one you got to give yourself a break yeah you can't just keep plowing on you gotta take a breather Uh and really embrace that don't just half-ass do it right. for some reason i've decided to have a potty mouth tonight but you know that's <laughs> this is for the adult audience anyway right <laughs> well yeah we hope <laughs> yeah and i thought it was quite interesting you know emily you and i have always said through all these years and truly we've known each other for over 20 years now that our lives just seem to be you know, moving in, in parallels. Uh, we Whatever happens to me is going to happen to you. Whatever happens to you is going to happen to me. So I thought it was interesting, speaking of breaks, how we ended up, I mean, we didn't plan it at all, uh, but we ended up going on holiday at the exact same time. And we, <laughs> you know, right. you know the, we, we were planning our next um, session and, and, and I said to you, oh, you know what, I'm going to go away with, with my husband and kids for a few weeks. Uh, and you're like, oh, I forgot about that. I was like, what? I never told you. You're like, yeah, I've got to say, I, you know, I'm taking away my kids too. And, I, <laughs> and we ended up both staying away, you know, on holiday for a couple of weeks. And we came back around the same time too. Yeah, I think so, we were even driving at the same time. <laughs> it was Driving's hilarious, up. wasn't it? Yeah. And truly, we're quite privileged that we, you know, we have the ability to to go away uh, and leave our normal the normal rut um, and many people don't have that opportunity and so what what would we say to somebody who really needs to take a break or uh, and and they can't go away because leaving your house and to go somewhere it really helps a lot because it, it gives you fresh perspectives you see different things get energy from different people what yeah. do you think somebody who's stuck at home can do really anything Listen to our podcast. You know, <laughs> well, that's one. <laughs> but I was also thinking another thing. Um, I was thinking something we're actually trying right now, which is the very same things you've done, just do them differently. I mean, we decided, okay, we normally have this more formal approach to things. You know, we try to make our backgrounds look a little more formal. Today, we're just like, girl, just sit down. Oh, who cares if we got to show your bed? I mean, we all sleep in a bed, don't we? You know, right. you know, have it casual. Why not have your cup of coffee? Why not, you know, and really allow yourself to to listen, to, to be you, 
and give yourself the space to to hear what you need what yeah. your body and what your whole being tells you you need you know and and this i'm having to say to myself especially because like you we're like go 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 right and we're even at a point in our podcasting uh, work where we're debating, okay, should we just do audio only or audio and video? Because we're needing to really figure out what we actually realistically can do instead yeah. of yeah. just inundating ourselves with things that we're just not coping with. So I would say maybe try doing things differently, uh, you know, just... Take a walk at a different time of the day. <laughs> of course, still take a walk if you do. If you never took a walk, maybe you start doing that. Incorporate more variety into your day. But even the things that you do do on a regular basis, maybe try to just approach them differently. Just take a different route to the grocery store or something. I know it sounds yeah. trying. So we've said okay. we've got take a break, change things up. Even the things you normally do. Yeah. And cut yourself some slack. I think that's a, a key one too. And um, we also, um, when we had talked about this before Christmas, we thought maybe um, perspective, focusing on positives. Yeah. It does you zero good to be mulling and, you know, whining with the masses. Trust me, there's a lot to complain about in life. But um, there's also a lot of wonderful things happening right now. There are a lot of wonderful things happening right now. Listen, the sun came up again without complaint. <laughs> I know it sounds <laughs> trite, but it's to be celebrated, y'all. It's beautiful. I don't know, maybe because the weather is so good right now in South Africa. And as I said, the rain, yeah. the rain everything just looks, it's like the colors are vibrant. It's so easy to just, you know, stand out. But take the time to smell the roses. Um, yeah, and really you know, focus on the first, positives, what you feed your mind. When we first had this conversation, they were in the midst of uh, the, well, it was, the election was over, but they were still processing the votes. And then oh, yeah. it hadn't, we were waiting for Inauguration Day. And there US. was so much negativity. US. We're talking about the United States, right? No, but wondering. I say we because even in New Zealand, the whole world seemed to be waiting for Inauguration Day. Yes. Because particularly here in New Zealand, I was getting so much negativity around me. Oh, I won't, I won't believe it until he's actually inaugurated. And that's when I said to you, you know what? I'm so tired of all this negativity. Yeah. You need to remain positive. And, and here we are now. I kid you not, the Air is fresher. People are looking at everything in a different light. We're, we have new objectives. We have new goals. And and we got there. We got there in the end. And so what, what was all that negative energy for? It didn't do us any good. It just uh -huh. brought us all down. Uh -huh. Life uh -huh. it is. Yeah. So, no, I hear so you. you um, focus, on, focus on what you can do to make it better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And really mm -hmm. in your own space, I mean, not all of us are activists and I really truly do applaud people, you know, who are out there actively trying to do things, who put in themselves in harm's way or who put themselves, you know, in the forefront of action and decision making on, on a global scale. I, I, I'd never do well in politics. That's why I quit being a public servant. Among other things, you know. <laughs> <laughs> CD economist wasn't going to cut it for me because I just I just find all of that just a little stifling. Worked for me in my 20s, but um, I'm in a different space now. But I really applaud people who are doing that sort of work. But for the rest of us, you know, especially if you're just, you know, a mom or a dad, you're just trying to get through the day and you have kids that are looking at you every day, every step of the way, how are you going to get through the day in a way that, is good and that you can get through it in a way that that's empowered and what we're saying right now what i hear you saying emily is your mindset yeah don't feed don't allow yourself to be stuck in the negative rut because what you feed yourself is you create it you know the energy you feed your yourself is the energy you create in the world um so it does help yeah so what that you know as I, they say, shit happens. Can I say that? <laughs> it does 
happen. But what good does it do to now just mull over that yeah. um, to no end? And but I think you know, that's, that's what builds resilience. And that's what, um, that's what I should actually, what I should, all of this advice I should be listening to right now, as you feel a little bit defeated in some of your efforts and you're trying to, um, you know, you're, you're, you, especially when you take a break and you come right back to what you left behind. Right. So it's all well and good to take a break and have a breather, but if get you face back some the challenges, then you can feel a little bit overwhelmed to start with because you just had a break and you think, wow, that was so nice, but it's not reality. And now you're back mm-hmm. in reality. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So really trying to um, take it one step at a time and, and build, you know, for example, I, exactly that happened. I came back from my break. I felt overwhelmed. I realized I couldn't cope with some of my challenges. And so you have your little breakdown. You have your little, you know, I can't do this. And then you turn it around and you think, okay, day by day, what can I do differently? What can I do to help me achieve what I need to achieve to turn this around? And it may take one step at a time each day. You're not going to solve it instantly, but you got to keep on at it. Otherwise, you're just going to still be there a year from now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I, I hear you now. A couple of things came up for me as you were talking. Uh, one quote I read recently, and I've known it for a little bit now, you know, speaking, going back to that point about uh, not focusing on negatives. Oh, I see somebody is just uh, chiming in. Welcome. Heart. Yes. Welcome, whoever you are. We can't quite see you right now, but thank you for being with us. Thank you for chiming in. Oh, it's Cody. Um, oh, Great. Okay, somebody, you know. Okay, yeah. wonderful. That's great. That's great. Um, I wanted to go back to that whole, per, uh, the whole question of perspective. So much um, for deleting this now, huh? I'm sorry? <laughs> we, we talked about, okay, we'll make it live, but then we'll delete it. <laughs> <laughs> now look. <laughs> well, I guess we're not going to do that now. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Um, Keep talking, sorry. Um, I was gonna say, um, you can I think Kobe left as a comment. Um I'm not to it. Okay, great. Um, going back to perspective, that's where I was. You know, somebody a quote I read, you know, I'm a big Abraham Hicks fan, law of attraction kind of stuff. Uh, I'm like the biggest proponent. And one quote I've found very helpful recently is um, let me see if I can say it right. Um, Esther Hicks says the biggest something like uh, the biggest help you can give somebody is to be is for you to be happy something like that like it really helps for you you know we always think about actively doing something to help somebody when truly at the end of the day it all out of start it, it often is enough for you to just be happy because that happiness radiates. Right. And people get inspired by how you are and and just just your energy becomes the inspiring factor rather than anything you do. And I think this is where it really helps the whole notion of perspective, how you look at things. Uh, if you're able, if you have the ability to look at things in a positive way, in a way that inspires yourself in a way that keeps you positive that's how you change the world that's the contribution you can make to the world uh, on a really but at a really fundamental level yeah it's I mean, really how effective a smile is yes it's that simple isn't it yes yeah yes as simple a as a smile a you genuine know, you see, smile a genuine smile yes people can yes. need a smile Yes, because we're all energy, aren't we? You know, we respond yeah. to each other's energies more than the words we use even. Words are just words. But, you know, when somebody watches this show, they're probably, you know, on at a really fundamental level are connecting with how we're feeling right now more than what we say. 
Right. You know? Um, but anyway, so that was that. And you had talked about goal setting, you know, do being, you know, do not, not in a major way, but just doing one thing at a time, not letting too many things inundate you and, and just stifle you. Yes, that was the point right. you made. Um, and then the last big thing we, well, maybe it's not the last, you'll tell me. But I know we, you and I are big proponents of uh, believing in, in oneself. Oh, absolutely. Believe in yourself. And, yes. Um, I am, I think that that is the key to, to, to following your dreams. You believe in yourself. It doesn't matter whether it's a stupid dream, and I shouldn't phrase it like that, but it's your dream. It's your desire. You're the one who's going to make it happen. You have to believe yeah. in yourself. Nobody else is going to make it happen for you. You yeah. can leverage off of other people. You can get support, but you're the one who's going to make it happen mm -hmm. by continuing at working at that dream. And I um, have a dream right now that um, that I don't get cut off because my battery is so low. That I think that <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so if I suddenly disappear, this is why. That's why, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? We can do. We can cast the vision out there. <laughs> Let's talk to the universe. <laughs> well, you know, we're almost to the end of our show. You know how time really does fly. So if we do get cut off, uh, it's not a it's not a big problem. Uh, but but. I, I I think we should, um, you know, your battery allowing um, that whole notion of uh, self-confidence, really believing in yourself and how nobody's going to do it for you. It's amazing how fundamental a need that too is. If you don't believe it, nobody else will. Yeah. It's that simple, period. It <laughs> you know? doesn't matter how much they love you, but if you don't believe it yourself, it's over me just can just kiss it goodbye yeah so <laughs> and I, I think that is what we discussed as a, a next podcast discussion is around confidence and especially confidence through your different life stages yes and as a woman for example and as one perspective and then in the workforce and there's a, a lot a lot to be, I think, to explore on that, you know, uh -huh. how, how how we build our confidence uh -huh. and what we need to do to represent ourselves in certain situations that can really help us, help us grow and achieve what we want to achieve. So, uh -huh. um, Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to that discussion because you just reminded yeah. me of it. Now that we're, you know, 24 minutes in, I'm starting to get the juice flowing. And <laughs> you're just, you're just getting warmed up. I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> and my battery's about to die. <laughs> On that note, wonderful <laughs> world. I think we better call it a day. What do you think, Emily? I think it was great to be back. Yeah, well, it's I, great. I said we're back. And I had a great uh, I know. Now I have to what look I have to look it up. Wait, I'm going to look it up. Sorry cuz we're always um swapping notes. What did you say? Uh you said Oh gosh. Um let me see if I can find it. Kutzel and Emily are back. At our new time of, we're still trying to figure it out. Well, we think around this time, right? <laughs> but on uh, it so great in the moment, it sounded so great in the moment. <laughs> it did. It did. <laughs> anyway, well, uh, Emily, any closing thoughts for the day? No, I think we, I think we got that. We're back. We're we're gonna be here. Maybe not weekly but definitely frequently. Yeah. So yeah. stay tuned yeah. for our next episode episode. And um, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> we're 
Well, you know what? Wishing you a wonderful whoever you are, whether you're watching this as a replay or if you're in, if you're streaming live right now. We're really wishing you a re wishing you wishing you wishing you <laughs> a really kick-ass 2021. Uh, I really feel positive. You know, with this whole COVID thing, at least we had a run. We had a trial run last year. Now we know what we're doing. Well, you know, New Zealand, you guys. <laughs> You guys don't have to worry about lockdowns and stuff. But for the rest of us, and let me tell you, South Africa's got that second wave thing, whatever. At least we know what we're doing now, <laughs> right? Yeah. We don't have to be shocked about, you know, having to stay indoors. We've done it before. So, yeah, it's going to be kick-ass. All right, everybody. That's it. Okay. It's a wrap. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you next Bye. time.